guys, it's Lola. Welcome back to my channel. So, I know I haven't been active that much, and I have a very inconsistent uploading schedule. Let me adjust that for you. But, um, I'm gonna try to come go ahead and try to have a consistent uploading schedule. I'm gonna put this pen away. And, hey guys, it's Lola. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, we're gonna be talking about cubing, like um, three by three, four by four, and cube. Those are the three puzzles that I know how to solve. And um, yeah, before we get started, I want to talk about a couple announcements. And um, okay, first, I know my uploading schedule has been very inconsistent. Like, I feel like, I think once I uploaded like three or four, three or four videos at once in a day. Um, and sometimes I'm not active for like a week or a month. And it's because of, um, one, my iPhone is running out of storage for some reason. Um, so I've been trying to work on that. And so it doesn't hold editing videos that much anymore. So I'm not supposed to record any yet until I can delete some or remove some or get rid of something. So I haven't been able to record or edit that much but hopefully it's back. And um, yeah, second, I'm thinking of starting a cubing channel, but I'm not sure if it'll get like noticed. And I really want to like think of a name first before I start anything. And I need some good ideas. So if you have any, comment down below and I'll give you guys a shout out if, you, if, I, if I end up using those ideas. Okay, and now moving on, um, today's video is going to be, like I said, it's going to be about cubing, um, and I'm going to cover, I'm going to talk about just, I'm going to do an example solve just because I want to show you guys if I can't, like what you guys think, because I know I used to record videos of a lot of cubing stuff, and I feel like I've come a long way because I know most of the PLLs now, um, None of the OLLs, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, and I used to not know F2L. And F2L is like the biggest part of cubing at this point for me. And my dad said I might be able to go to a cubing competition next year. Because all the ones this year were canceled due to COVID. But, um, so I want to just like show you guys. One, my cubing skills. And two, I saw this idea. I was scrolling through just cubing like forums and things like that and I found this post and it was about this person I'm not sure if he was a he or her so I'll just call her this person this person had created a cubing journal like with all their personal bests like um, mains things like that and I was like "Ooh, that's pretty cool and now I want to do it so I went ahead and tried to find a notebook that was empty that I kind of did not feel like stupid carrying around everywhere and the smallest and emptiest one I could find is this guy I'm not sure if I uploaded a video with it with him with this thing but for now all my cubing stuff is gonna go into here until I find a better place so this is a really pretty notebook So it is like planet and galaxy themed and we've got, I think this might be Saturn, another Saturn and another Saturn, but it's kind of like this and the little stars are like gold and it's really pretty. I got this at a Dollar Tree, so don't judge, but it's just like, it's just like that and the back looks pretty much the same. I'm separate as this. So this is very pretty. And that's what I'm gonna be using for my cubing journal. I'm leaving the first plate first page blank because I've been So I my sister just Okay. So I'm using I'm gonna leave the first page blank. Sorry for that, that's my sister. I had to cut out parts of that. <laughs> it's gonna be really choppy. But, 
Um, I'm leaving the first page blank because I've always been taught to do that. I don't know why, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up with you guys and then I'll do a couple example solves on all four of my cubes. Actually, I have five, but I'm not using my GTS2 because it's, I just, it's the same thing as three by three and I already have two, so there's no point. Okay, so I just scrambled all three, I scrambled three out of four cubes. I'm scrambling this cube right now. Um, okay, they're all scrambled, I'll show you them. And I know you guys probably, I'm not sure how long some people have been on my channel for because um, when I was like, I think around May, I forget, but I think I did solve a cube like on camera once. But I'm not sure how many people went back and saw that. So if I, I'm not a fake solver. Um, I'm a real solver, just saying. I know some people are going to still say I'm fake, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, so, one, two, three, four. And now I'm going to go grab my stationary items. And not that I have much, but they still count. This is just all my favorite things combined into a pile. Cubing and stationery. Okay, this video might get long, so settle in. Um, by the way, I'm not gonna record the video like this. Um, I'm gonna switch formats right now. And here we go. So I'm gonna set these cubes aside for now. Let's adjust this camera. I'm gonna put them right here. At the very end, so you guys get reminded that this is a cubing video. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys what I have so far, or what I, uh, what I have. I have these three pens, um, orange, blue, and black. Then I have these two pens that I got from my book fair, my Scholastic School book fair. I got this pen with a fishy attached to it, and it's like a goldfish thing. And then I have this little narwhal, which is really cute. And then I have these pens that I think I've had for a couple years now, but they're still work perfectly fine. And then I have a pencil, which I cannot find. Um, wait, I know where it is. Okay. And a regular number two pencil. It kind of needs to be sharpened, but we're fine. Okay, so, um, I'm just gonna write cubing journal, I guess. Okay, I'm nervous. I really like this journal, so. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and write my starting date on here, so. And, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. And then I'll write here. If I ever end this thing, I'll write it right here. All right, next page. Now here I'm going to write the date of today, which is also October 2nd, or October 6th. Okay, I'm going to write 3 by 3 is going to be blue with my normal pen. And then I'll write May. I'm gonna keep track of like my mains and things like that. GTS 3M always will be until I get that cube. Four by four, I'll do three. Um, write in this other column. I don't even have to write a main. I'm not getting a new four by four. And then, all right, I'm, I don't usually typically do that many 4x4 solves, so I'll just go ahead, go down to here, and I'll do Skew around here. Um, and Skew will be... Why not? Skew will be purple. And this kind of darker color. So I'm writing it in the more 4x4 section, just because I do 3x3 a lot. I just spelled Skew wrong. I'm gonna draw. Okay, so I messed this part up, but we're fine. It's all right. And then I'll draw like a little bar here. I'm really enjoying this. Okay, so I'm gonna color this box all the way in. And then I'll color this box all the way in. A cube is a very fun event for me, and it's not my favorite. Three by three is, but since three by three is hard to like win, because all the good people come to three by three. All right, cube. Okay. Now 
it's all set up for today. And I'm not going to do this every day, but the days that I'm kind of like bored or just need something to do. And yeah, this is my journal. And now I'm going to go ahead and do a couple solves and fill this thing out. Three by threes. We're going to do the GTS Ram and the Chi MS. Thank you. 